Ladies and gentlemen, you know, when it comes down to college in America, there's been so many scandals and so many people being disingenuous when it comes down to applying for college. It is a really disgrace. It really is a national disgrace at this point. You know, you got people running around here in one instance trying to convince everybody because everybody don't believe you, by the way that you are the smartest, you have the highest IQ, you are this, you are that, you did everything. Nobody believes all that mess. But if you feel content with running around and saying that, have at it. Okay. Then we had the big college admission scandal and those cases are still going on and they're actually finding more people. You had the situation where white college students from the UK and U.S., were getting papers, their essays and term papers and everything done by the smart, intelligent Black people of Kenya writing their papers for them. And now we have a case of a mother that lied about her white son's race to get him into college, well, she's going, she's in jail now. So much cheating going on in America. You know, you just kind of look silly out there talking about how intelligent you are. And then all of these cheating stories keep coming up. Not a good look. This came out in the Grio, October 17th, 2019. Mm -mm -mm. On Wednesday, a mother felt the aftershocks of a wide-range college admission scandal when she was sentenced to three weeks in prison for shelling out $15,000 to a proctor who altered her son's S um, ACTs. Well, even Felicity Huffman got less of a sentence than that. She shelled out the same amount of money for her daughter. So this is a different person. Marjorie Clapper, 50, of Menlo Park, is the latest offender to face sentence for her role in a scheme Early this year, the griot.com reported that a group of rich parents bribed college coaches and insiders at testing centers to help their kids get a leg up and away into some of the most elite schools in the country. And they didn't deserve to be there. And it just goes to show you, just because somebody got money don't mean they are smart and don't mean they have the smartest kids. This is your proof right there. They give money to stupid people in this country all the time. Hollywood actress Felicity Huffman and Lori Lachlan were charged along with five other people. Clapper took her scheme even further and pretended her white son was black and Latino and a first-generation college student, according to BuzzFeed. Folks want to be Black only when it's convenient. Yes, it, indeed, that is true. For her crimes, Clapper was also sentenced to a year of supervised release. She must complete 250 hours of community service and pay a $9,500 fine. Miss Clapper thereby not only uh, corrupted the standardized testing system, but also specifically victimized the real minority applicants already fighting for admissions to elite schools, U.S. Attorney Andrew E. Ledling. The attorney disagreed with the three-week uh, prison sentence, calling it insufficient. And it really is. It, it's just another sign of white privilege in America. You know, you know damn well if it was a bunch of black people that um, were trying to cheat their way into college, 
these folks would be getting years me on that. So in May, Clapper um, copped a plea deal to one count of conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services mail fraud. She got paid, um, she paid money through Rick Singer, same person, but, you know, her son just didn't do well enough, you know, he didn't. So he cheated and of course got a high score, but she's trying to fake the funk on, you know, the test score, which is crazy. So she paid $15,000 for her son to take the ACT at Singer's bogus testing center. And the proctor changed the score. Um, so her son scored 30 out of 36, prosecutor said. So, you know, she's one of many in this country cheating and and the same token want to be up in your face telling you how brilliant her son is. This, this is so typical and laughable at the same time in America. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me just remind you, you know, cheating in America is very prevalent, not only in school. These folks cheat on jobs. They cheat on job applications. They cheat in everything. They che literally cheat their way through life at the same time trying to tell you to pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Well, apparently, y'all, we've been pulling ourselves up by the bootstraps all along when it comes down to college and many of these jobs too. So look like they need to be talking to each other about pulling yourself up by the bootstraps and not to us at all. That's the way it looks to me. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.